That was awesome, Jay. Thank you so much. That was really, really good. But let's go back Can I turn to... this up a little bit? I can't really hear much. The knob's right in front of you. Um, Let's go back to the first song. What song was that? That's off the new album. Yeah, it's called Sleeping with Strangers. What'd you do? Who? who no, 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 no. What did I do right, off, right at the gate? <laughs> Don't How many that. people? How many people? <laughs> okay, so, so, so we'll get to that in a minute. So Jake, Jake sends me his album. He's like, listen to my album. Tell me what you think. It's coming out next week, whatever. So I listened to it, and I was listening to these sad songs. I'm like, oh my God, oh. Jake. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. It's been a crazy year. I'm not going to lie. Um, for, for multiple reasons, not just, uh, you know, relationship problems. Right. right. But it's been a crazy year, and... Um, that's why this project, um, I'm the most proud of it, because I channeled every single emotion in my body, and I poured every ounce of it into this music, and, you know, I made half of this album in my bedroom by myself, so you could really just feel like, you know, what, I'm, so what cool. I'm saying. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. that's what artists are supposed to do. They're supposed Absolutely. to lay it out there. I mean, you may Absolutely. have to talk about some stuff that you wouldn't talk about, but you'll sing about it. That's why I'm excited to put it out also, just because it's kind of a window into, you know, a side of my life that I don't usually share. I share a lot on social media, but that kind of stuff I don't really share. And so this music kind of tells all, all of that stuff. Well, we were sitting here listening to it, and I looked over at Bethany and Daniel. They're like, oh, oh Jakey. Oh, Jake. <laughs> oh, please don't feel sorry for him. No, I want to know what happened. No one's feeling sorry for you. You want to know what happened? Yeah. No, no, you don't. He said he was going to tell us. No, Jake. All he right. said I what exactly do you want to know? I want to know what the song's about exactly. Okay, well, I mean, I just got out of an eight-year-long relationship since I was 15, um, So, and I'm living in L.A. now, and I'm mm-hmm. single, so, you know, I just feel the pressure to go out with my friends and meet people now that I'm single, and the song is basically just about, you know, coming to the realization that the grass is not greener on the other side, yeah. and, you know, what I help. had before was a little bit better, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it kind of gets a little monotonous going out and doing the same thing all the time, and... You know, maybe I'm just not going to the right places and meeting the right people. I don't know. I know, but unless you, like, murdered her and put her head in your freezer, she's still out there. So maybe the song... Or is her head in your freezer? No, absolutely not. What if the song makes everything okay? Maybe it will. I'm All right. cool with that. Now you're getting so personal. I'm, this is so uncomfortable. I want to give him a hug. Hey, I'm in, I'm in a good place right now. I'm in okay, a good place. I've, you, there's a, you, you'd be very surprised how much, you know, peace of mind you can get through writing songs and putting that all into your music. Yeah. So. Well, see, and this was, is... Well, go ahead. I was going to say, I mean, how long ago did you actually write that song? Um, Probably in March. Okay, so April. it wasn't terribly long ago, but but is it a little bit weird to write a song and then, like, have it come out and you've already moved past that situation now, but everybody thinks that you're still there? You, a little bit. I mean, it's just a feeling that I had for a while that I still, honestly, I still have it a little bit. I'm not, I am in a good place for sure, but I mean, I still do feel those feelings. I'm still, you know, I'm still single and I'm still kind of, you know, struggling with it a little yeah. bit just because it's the first time I've been single since I was pretty much uh, ever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it's, it's cool just because, you know, I, I, it means a lot to me and, you know, I can listen to the song and just kind of. It makes me feel better for some reason. And by the way, let me be very frank. There, there are other cuts on this album that aren't as as sad. It's and not. Touching. It's not. Ter- it's not terribly sad. This what, album. What was the one I I love? I told you. I back to it. the start. Yeah, back to the start. Okay. That's the song. That's a good one. That's a great song. Thank you. Thank you. And it's you know, so I, I don't rap at all on this album besides that last song, and it's kind of like for the day one fans because they love it when I rap. <laughs> I like so, it when you rap. Yeah, and that song is basically it kind of ties the whole album in together. So it's it's a really special song to me. But going back to what you were saying earlier, you're putting your feelings into a song. I mean, I, there are those of us who cannot write songs. We cannot write poetry. Right. I, I mean, Bethany can because look at her. She's yeah. she's a very she looks like she could write some poetry. Yeah, you have the poetic. <laughs> I sit in my shower. That's not a bad thing. It's not a bad. <laughs> she, thing. she cries in her shower every morning. <laughs> but the thing is, is we all need that outlet, and you have it. You're, For sure. But so the those of us who don't have the ability to write our feelings down and write songs. We got it all bottled up. We got to find new ways to do we it. We go in a room, close the door, and scream really loudly. We do. Yeah, that works too. There's so many ways that you can, you know, let yourself. What go. I do is I yell at my my I, I yell, at, yell at scary. Oh, I yell I, at, I yell at our producers. I'm really? In, I'm in studio punching bag. She is. It makes me feel much I'm so better. So sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Uh, wow, scary. What did you eat last night? I had hummus. Did, oh, God. I got you a Snapchat filter by the way. There's a Snapchat filter right now. Oh, really? Where is it? It says Jake Miller, Elvis oh. Duran on the morning show. Really? Nice. Oh, hell yeah. That's so cool. I guess that'd be on. Some, I'm asking where it is. Well, I guess that would be on Snapchat. It's at this building right this second. Let's see the text messages. My uterus just skipped a beat, says Dana. Oh, wow. He's wow. an amazing singer. Evans. Okay, let's get. There's a little. Ele- there's an elephant in the room. What is it? What do you? What is it? There's an elephant in the room. There's an elephant in the room. Who's the Who's the elephant? Okay, Jake, you're like a really, really handsome, good-looking guy. Thank you. And yeah, and, and I see your your stuff on social media. You're always flashing your pearly whites. You know, you know that people are like. Like, wow, he's hot. You're doing that. 
Okay, I'm not going to admit to that, but thank you. <laughs> but but don't, you, don't you get tired of that sometimes? Don't you want people to like just, just appreciate me for my music? Don't. Absolutely, actually. Yeah, that's that was actually a big thing going into this album, because um, I wanted to make sure that the album cover didn't have, you know, any pretty boy pictures of me on the cover. Right. I wanted it to be more about the music, which is kind of the whole point of this entire project for me. So me and my friend Mark, we took a bed, we put it in a U-Haul truck, we went to downtown LA, Here it is. and we put a bed in the middle of the street that's not photoshopped. We did that without a permit, we didn't get arrested, really? and it turned out amazing. Wow, that's a great shot. Well, Thank you. Yeah, it was like it's like my favorite album cover we've ever done. But th- that brings us to this project, to this album. Yeah. This is you. I mean, you, me. yeah. you you had you'd help with people you trust in, in your circle, your friends. But this wasn't like you went to a record label and the label said, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Jake, you just sit back, let us do all the work. You, know, you did all the heavy lifting for this. Yeah, this is my first project pretty much ever, my first album without a label. Um, you know, I was signed for a while and we just kind of parted ways and it's a new chapter for me. And I'm, I'm really, I'm having so much fun right now. I have complete creative control. As I said, I've made almost this entire album in my bedroom. Two feet away from my bed is my mic stand. Right. Two feet away from my bed is my keyboard where I make the beats. And I write all my music in my in my bedroom. So if I did work with any writers or producers, it was just my friends who I invited over to my house. So how many times in the middle of the night did something come to you? You got up and you you like recorded it. Oh, so many times. So many, it's usually just voice memos where I'll wake. I literally dream of melodies. I swear. I'll wake up and I'll just like hear a melody and I'll be like, "Is that a song or did, yeah. did you just make that up?" And I'll just sing it in a voice memo. And sometimes I'll I'll write complete songs without any music in mind, and then I'll make the music to it afterwards. And, wow. Yeah. A lot of people don't understand what goes into making an album. Uh, and when you're with a big uh, music company, they they have resources beyond anything you can imagine. I mean, yeah. they have departments that come up with artwork for album covers. They have yeah. they have everything. Plus, they tell you what they think you should be doing, and you may not, as an artist, always agree what they suggest you do. For sure, they heavily suggest you follow their their <laughs> yeah their their ideas. So, to do what you just did with this album that's out at midnight tonight, by the way, Jake. Yeah, so remind tired. everyone just in case you forgot. <laughs> I love in case it. You I love to, it. In case you want to buy it. I love it. What you did, all the heavy lifting yourself. What did you learn from this experience? Things that you never even thought of when you're like, I'm going to do my own album. Was it as easy as that, or is, no? Definitely not. I talk mean, about the like the challenges. Well, first of all, I've never produced my own beat or my own music in my life before, you know, 2017. Um, I went to Guitar Center. I, I had this, like, revelation. I'm like, I want to be, you know, a one-man show. I want to be able to do it all. I don't want to be able to, I don't want to have to rely on anybody. I don't want to have to spend all this money to book out fancy studios and rely on all these other writers and producers. I want to go to Guitar Center, buy all this cool equipment, set it up, and learn how to do it. And That's so expensive. I, it, it was a little expensive, but, you know, I'm investing in myself. So right. I sat on YouTube for eight hours every day for a few months and learned how to make my own beats. And it wasn't easy for sure. And half, more than half of the beats, 99% of the beats I made ended up in the trash can. But it's just like, now that I, now that I know how to do it, it's like a tool that I can use forever. That's your, ne- that's your next album, a trash can full of beats. A trash can <laughs> full of beats. <laughs> I, so, I'll sell them right now. So, I mean, so when, this, when your album, this is the story, when your album comes out tonight at yeah. midnight, it's going to be just a brand new day for you. I it's mean, a new chapter. It's a new chapter for sure. I, I'm just like in a completely different headspace right now. Um, are you scared? Are you, are you frightened? Are you excited? I'm, not, yeah, I'm sure you're, you're excited. But I'm excited. I'm not scared because my fans, no matter what, whether I'm going through a breakup or parting ways with my label, no matter what I'm going through, the fans are always there. And they're only getting more passionate. And I can see on social media, I, you know, I, I talk to them all the time. I see them at the airports. They're downstairs in your lobby right now. Yep. It's like they have, they've only gotten stronger. So I, I know that we'll, we're going to be just fine. It's that's so awesome that you have like people, especially the fans, because they're the ones who've been with you since the beginning. Yeah, And like of course. you said, they're the ones that accept you through all the changes that you go through, even musically. Absolutely. You know, I started rapping when I first got into this. And then um, I started, you know, as an artist, I want to push myself and always get better and try new things. So I was like, okay, I'm going to stop rapping for a little bit and just sing. And some some of the fans, like 1%, was like, no, we only like you because you rap. And then most of them, 99% of them were like, you do you, stick to yeah. you, you know, yeah. do your thing. And um, we're excited to hear it. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm very lucky to have them. So, <laughs> hearing your story like this, it makes people just just really want to root for you. I mean, everyone you know, when they hear your story, they they hear you, how genuine you are, and and what it took to do this very personal thing, uh, this total passion project. Yeah, if you want to call it that for sure. It makes people just like, yeah, come on, Jake, come on, yeah. good for you. That's that's amazing. I mean, at the end of the day. I, as I said, my fans are like the best fans in the world, no matter what I put out. So, you know, if I get more fans from this, that's great. If my fans love it, that's amazing. But to me, this was just like therapy. You had to, to do make it. This. Yeah. Yeah, Something you to. had to do. I had to. And it's not easy. No, definitely not. But people, it, people see you on stage and like doing whatever you're doing, having fun. I know it's fun, but easy it's not. 
it's so easy to make your life look perfect on social media. My life is far from perfect, you know, especially this this year was probably my hardest year of my life, my lowest year. And to be able to come out with this this album that it kind of tells a story if you listen to it in order. And it's just kind of this past year. And, uh, you know, I'm cool now. I'm happy now. And now that I know that I can make this music by myself like that, that even makes me feel better because I can always channel it. But Jake, I mean, as you say, this was your lowest year. This is probably going to turn out to be your highest year. I hope so. That would be that's the goal. Okay. And it's so it's so important, I think, for people to hear too that not only should you not compare yourself to people on social media, which we've been saying for a long time, but it's good to have it said again. The fact that you taught yourself how to do all of this yeah. means that you really can, anybody can k- take control of their life and say, you know what, I want to make a change, I want to do something. Absolutely, yeah. you did it. Very for good sure. point. Well, Plus, you. use social sure. media for things like you know pictures of the pancakes you're eating. <laughs> do I do I do that? I don't no, really no, like no, pancakes. No, 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 I'm saying Wait, put, you don't like pancakes. Put some really put like some pancakes. more food. Who doesn't like pancakes? Well, he doesn't like pancakes. I like bacon. You like bacon? Not a little bit. Depends. Love- depends. What, what do it's you eat? On. Well, what do you eat if you're not eating pancakes and bacon? What the f is wrong with you? A man? lot of chipotle. A lot oh, of pizza. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, you're yeah, good. You're good. Now. All right. So you know, maybe you know, give us more more food porn on online, and we'll be happy about that. But anyway, enough of that. Jake Miller, the new album is 2 a.m. in L.A. It's all him and the people he trusts. Yes. It's available tonight at midnight. You can pre-order it right now, by the way. You cannot. You cannot? <laughs> no. Why don't you do that? I don't know. I wanted to, you know, have it all out at once. Maybe next time I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> I just uploaded it to iTunes like literally like a week ago. Yeah. <laughs> like this has been like, I've been working so on this real crazy. hard. I, I learned how to mix my own songs, master my own songs. So it's like, I've been working on this for yeah. a while. So I haven't had too much time to, you know, worry. upload it months, yeah. in a, months in advance and put it up for pre-order. Don't worry about the pre-order. <laughs> yeah. All right. But you so, can get it tonight. It, tonight. Let's all stay up till midnight. Set Let's your do alarm. it. Yeah. All right, so, but so what we need to do tomorrow on the show is to remind people waking up. Hey, yeah. yesterday at this time, you heard Jake Miller. Mm-hmm. It, it was out at midnight. You were asleep. Yes. Well, I want you to wake up and download it before you go to work or school. Yes. Okay, Jake Miller, 2 a.m. <laughs> you can try to pre-order it. If you have any luck, let me know. That would well, be amazing. Well, no, I don't know. <laughs> that would be... So well, I, either you can or you can't. I don't think you can. I know, I know. I know. Maybe I know. Next, but I feel like you could. <laughs> <laughs> I already have it. You gave it to me for free. That's true. Actually, you sent it to me and it disappeared. You sent yeah, because there's like a we transfer link, so it, it disappears in like a week. Yeah. Wait, so now I got to pay for it. Now pay, pay uh, retail. I will happily pay retail. Good. Jake Miller, 2 a.m. in L.A., available tonight at midnight. We'll remind everyone. Yes. As we, and we'll play my favorite cut tomorrow off your album. We're going to give you another spin. <laughs> That would like be amazing. 80, we have like 80 stations. It's going to be the biggest spun song tomorrow. That's amazing. <laughs> You're in the right place. <laughs> I know I am. I love you, Elvis. You guys oh, are the best. You Thank too. you so much for supporting me. Jake Miller. Excellent. Yay!